Police Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test an EGR solenoid to determine whether it's good or not. So let's go ahead and get started. The vehicle that we're actually working on is a Pontiac Fiero GT, but this method would apply on any car that has the EGR solenoid and EGR valve system. Uh, first, what you want to do is disconnect the vacuum lines. You want to do that very gently because what we're going to do is test the input and make sure that this is even getting power. So here on the bottom, here's your harness. So we're going to again gently pop that off so we can test that. Okay, so here we are. First thing you want to do is you want to turn the car's power on, not the engine, but just the power so we know for a fact that it is getting current. Next, you're going to go ahead and take a multimeter, put it on 20 volts. Okay, so now, <clears throat> with this particular harness, we know that the um, power is coming in on this right lead. So we're going to go ahead and ground this and then check for power right here on this lead. And we see right there that it is getting pretty much 12 volts. So power is coming to the solenoid. So now we're going to go ahead and test the solenoid and see if we can pinpoint if that is the problem. I have here the EGR solenoid. I'm going to do a quick test uh, to see if it could be stuck in an open or closed position, creating a vacuum leak. And then we're going to go ahead and test the uh, points coming into it connected to a battery see if the actuator responds and opens and closes the plunger as it should Basically what you have here you have uh, Your input here where it sucks air in it runs through this filter where it goes into the solenoid and opens and closes it and directs it from that point If this is stuck in the open position then basically you would be getting like a vacuum leak because it wouldn't be closing as it should Which could cause engine problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow through this end of the vacuum line and see if we hear any air coming through. And if you heard that, it's coming through here, so the plunger is definitely in the open position, but let's see if it's coming out the other way as well. Everything else is closed, so it looks like the input coming through the filter is stuck open. We're gonna connect it to a battery, see if we can get the actuator to respond and close the plunger and open it as it should. If not, this is stuck in the open position, which is creating basically a large vacuum leak. And as mentioned just a few minutes ago, that'll create some issues with your the idling and the engine because you're getting too much air coming in. We have it grounded properly. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with 12 volts here, which is where the power lead goes in. Nothing. Normally when these are working, once you give power to it, you'll hear a click on and off as the actuator is responding. This one is completely dead. But just to confirm, I'm going to go ahead and just check the voltage on it and make sure that it is in fact getting the power that it needs to be getting. And you can see there it's at 12.01, so it's definitely getting power to it. It is just not responding. So it looks like this. EGR solenoid is bad. You can either at that point rebuild it, get another one, whatever you're gonna do, but either way, this is not working. Well, this pretty much wraps up this video on how to test an EGR solenoid. I hope this video helped you out and was informative. Uh, please send any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. Any feedback would be appreciated. As always, I appreciate all of the support, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.